Hi painters! In this video I troubleshoot and transform one of my own paintings showing you what I call the Cinderella makeover or if you're more into westerns the good, the bad and the ugly. So welcome and let's dive straight in. Let's talk values and why these type of landscapes are working and why this landscape not so much. I mean can you guys see what's um, the problem here? There's not enough value range and that's why for example this one is much better the one from my last video is doing much better we have <clears throat> a value range and uh, of course you don't always need as much contrast as what we see here you can have paintings that are softer in contrast but we still have kind of a difference and we don't need as much drama as before but it's definitely um it's definitely a stronger painting than this one this other one so let's take a look at that one again and see that i actually did I have another one just with a similar subject. We have a road and we have the clowns. Let me see if I can get both of them into the into the picture here. Let me see if I can just get both of these into the into the frame. not working very well okay like that you see how these are different and although they are similar subjects we have a lot of sky a lot of sky big impressive clouds here as well and we have the the ground area here with the road leading the viewers are in here the road turns the other way but the subject is exactly the same so what's the problem here again it's the values the values are what makes or breaks the painting so that's um, another reason why I didn't actually sign this painting I do like some of the things that are going on, the texture in front and uh, things like that. But it's uh, it's definitely not as strong as uh, the bottom one. So what can we do about it? I want to try and improve this, but first let's take a look at it in black and white and then in color. Notice how all the colors seem to be in a middle tone, so no real darks, no real lights, making it all kind of the, the same tone, which is, is boring. So uh, I want to really uh, change up the value range, um, and I'll start by uh, lightening the sky, and I'll speed up the print painting process for you to make it go uh, a bit faster. Okay, and maybe now you're thinking, ooh, that was uh, a bit drastic uh, with all that uh, white paint there. But um, I wasn't happy with the painting at all, the way it was. So I decided I had to make a big change and um, I don't want to uh, keep a, uh, a painting I wasn't happy with. So. I had nothing to lose, um, so uh, why not be brave, be bold, and really go for it. 
I'm using some baby wipes to move the paint around and um, then I'm scratching into the paint and using all the other um, ways of making texture that I normally would uh, in, uh, in a painting. If you would like to learn more about how to improve your painting using values, I made a video about that called Best Tip for a Successful Painting. And I'll put a link to that at the top of the video. A quick tip if you are sometimes struggling with distinguishing the values and getting a good look um, at your painting is to, if you have a smartphone uh, that has a camera on it, you can set the camera setting to black and white and actually take a black and white photo of your painting. I actually use this feature a lot and it's uh, quite helpful. So uh, maybe that can uh, help you out uh, as well. I want to add a bit of warm gray to the bottom of the clouds and I'm careful not to um, get the colors too dark in the sky because this is what got me into trouble in the first place with all the layering but of course uh, as we've learned we can just keep adding layers um, sometimes it's good to let the layers dry in between I think I'm pretty much done here so uh, I want to check the values uh, with the black and white photo method. I definitely gained a wider range of values from light to dark. Let's compare the painting, how it looked before and how it looked after I worked on it. So now it's your turn. Grab your uh, smartphone, take some black and white photos of your artwork. Is there anything you can do to improve some of the paintings that you uh, are not quite uh, satisfied with. I wish you uh, a happy creative painting and uh, thanks for being here. See you in the next video.